are so cute. The accommodations on this ride are a little bit tight, but hey, it's working. from our room based on what happened yesterday. So it's currently 6 a.m. I am very happy the sun is out. That like really wakes me up. Our ferry leaves at seven. We forgot to ask what time we actually had to be there by. We're hoping that like getting there 30 minutes early is gonna be plenty. We'll see. Hello. Hello. Ah, uh, guys, I, you know what I forgot? I had a whole bag of snacks. Whole bag of snacks. We don't have any food. I'm upset. I mean, we can just buy some more when we get there. It's not that big of a deal, but you know me. I just like to have snacks on hand. All right, so we swim through security, and it's funny. We've already bought a ticket, but now we have to pay a 25 um, fee to get in, it looks like. Thank you. My heart's beating like a jungle drum. Hopefully this helps me wake up. On the top deck. which is really awesome. Yeah, even had an awesome imprint on my hand from <laughs> sleeping rather hard. Anyways, time to explore Bohol. We're taking an 80 days on each band ride um, to the Chaka Hills, but then once we get there, um, we're just gonna be drop off in the market area, so then we have to get a trike that actually takes us to the lookout point. It's six kilometers from where we're gonna be dropped off, and it is way too hot to walk. Like we just are like dripping sweat instantly. Like oh my goodness, it is so humid today. Um, the guy on the ferry said like, yeah, last week is when our summer started, and I tell you what, like it is hot. All right, so now it's the waiting game. We didn't ask what time we would leave. We just hopped in, so we got in at nine, and then there's another boat that gets in at. 10. And this big one is not going to leave until it is full. So then we we're like, okay, well maybe we'll try to like rent a trike um, to get up there. The cheapest that we got the trike down to was 800 pesos. So yeah, we're just going to just kind of wait here. Hey, there, we got lots of time today. We have time to wait. There were other options, just, like you could rent a bike. It looked like for um, about 800 pesos for the entire day. Uh, we're just not comfortable yet on a bike. We're not 100% sure if we're gonna leave from this port. We might leave from a different port That's and we would have to then bring it back here. And Good we're one. off. About 50 minutes of waiting, not too bad. Chocolate Hill. I was kind of hoping that we'd actually get to like eat chocolate today, but no, that's not what this is. This is the only place in the world where these just hills that are bare on top, no trees or anything, pop up and they're all around and it's just here. So this makes this very unique. charged all my batteries last night. I thought they were all fully charged. 
one was about half charged, but apparently not. So I'm running on only one battery left right now currently for the day, which means that you get to see highlights and less of me talking, which is probably better for you. <laughs> You want to go backwards, Peter? Because I don't really want to go backwards. All right, we got our vehicle for the next three stops. I don't know if we'll make it. We'll see. <laughs> Peter's riding backwards. Yeah, it's probably the best because now yeah, we're back there. Oh yeah, babe. you probably should have won at the front. Oh well. Going up, going up, 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 yeah. Going up, going up, 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 yeah. So something it just like popped out of and then it was making really bad noise. Ah, the bus just went by. I waved like this, like really big. You can see obviously we're in distress. What does he do? He waves at me like, hi. No, I'm not waving like hi. I'm waving like I need you. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so we've been hanging out today with and Aliza, um, she's from Manila, so it's been really awesome to have a local person with us that knows the language that can help translate for us. It's been great. And now we're just waiting. <laughs> Got a whole family on that one. So what's happening? I got five for being in the back seat. <laughs> So the reason that you need to be silent and quiet through here is because they are very skittish animals. And if you make any loud or um, startling noises, sounds, they can literally have a heart attack and die. So it's just to be very quiet through here. We will be looking for them and uh, hopefully we see them. It's not a guarantee, uh, but hopefully we see them. So we are at the Tangier Conservatory right now. There's also a Tangier Sanctuary. Is that a baby? Or is uh, that full size? Six years old at all. Six years old. I didn't realize how tiny it was gonna be. It's six Maximum. years old and it's six inches, which is the maximum size. I thought they were gonna be much bigger. Yeah, they're like, that's like the phone size of the phone. species but it makes sense in a way that there are so few of them left because they are so tiny they don't really have many defenses so. all right it's starting to rain now so we're gonna bring out our jackets pretty soon here um, but oh my goodness that was so cute they were so small that was really fun <laughs> all right back to our guy all right, musical chairs. I'm in the front now. <laughs> I haven't tried the back yet. I don't know, I might get sick in the back. How is that for you, Peter? It's good. At least get some weight distribution. Yeah, yeah, it's probably better. So here we have the man-made forest. Um, if you want to, you can take, pay 10 pesos to just walk on the path through it. Um, so these are mahogany trees and it's gorgeous. It reminds me actually a little bit of Ireland just with how green it is here. Oh. 
bridge we need to walk across bamboo bridge oh my goodness that looks so fun all right i was not sure if i wanted to walk across but i lent us an umbrella so now i will let's see how strong bamboo is i guess Woo. this is different oh my goodness that feels like it's going to break right well Let's hope our 35 pesos goes into building a strong bridge. Oh wow. Oh, oh. This is really pretty. Yeah, don't drop your phone. <laughs> oh my goodness. This water is really pretty actually. Wow. Is this the Lubbock River? Uh, should be. Yeah. I don't think the cruise goes this way though. Oh goodness. I Guys. It's so weird. I literally think that I might be going and taking a dip. That's not oh my goodness, it's split? Yeah. If the bottom gives out, I'm gonna have my hand on the side rail here so I can just hold on and hang and pull myself back up. Yeah, this seriously doesn't feel that stable. <laughs> my foot got stuck. Oh goodness, my foot got stuck. Yeah, um, uh, Peter, I think I need your help. Peter, I need your help. No, I'm not kidding. My foot got stuck. Don't break my shoe. Okay, thanks. Look at that! I've been a mile high, been low, seen a hundred skies, oh so, haven't found a high. Yeah, that's even it. The horse. God knows I'm in the rest. He's so funny. Here's the Lobach River. And you can take a river cruise. Um, it looks like the river cruise is 250, but then if you add lunch and everything, it's usually 550. But hey, we can see from here. I'm gone to see what's waiting. Let's move fast, actually. What was your name? Nelson. Nelson. If you come here, get Nelson as your driver because he's the best. <laughs> wow, he was seriously one of the best drivers. We stopped so many places and it was um, 200 pesos each and he dropped us off right where we need to go with these jeepneys over here. Okay, so these jeepneys here, um, they will take us to Tag Valerian. And this is the oldest church in the Philippines, um, Lubbock Church. It was a little bit uh, damaged in the 2013 earthquake, but Still pretty amazing piece of history right there. All right, now we're taking a jeepney. Oh, we're going. First time on one of these. Oh, hey, hopefully Peter gets on. He's gotten quite cool, and we're listening to Taylor Swift. Spanish conquistador Miguel Lopez was trying to land in the Philippines. He was met with lots of resistance. Then he came here to Boho and found really friendly people. And to form their compact, um, they dropped two drops of their blood, mixed it with wine, and drank it. The chief me dropped us off in Tiberian, and now we are going to the port. We're here because we're smaller than Peter. <laughs> Peter's in the back of the bike. Poor Peter. His neck is really going to have a kink in it. Big, big world just waiting. So I'm headed out.
It's been a long day. Oh my goodness, it's been amazing. I'm so glad that we got to meet you. Seriously, like one of my favorite parts of the day. Oh, if you come, when, when you come to the Philippines, the one word that you should know is Po. Po. And how can you use that word? Oh, that one? It's actually just to add anything. Like, okay. Well, you can you speak English. You say hello, and then you add po. It makes you kind of like in sync to Filipino. So from the English word hello, it makes Filipinese just because of po, which is a sign of respect. So you say hello po, and then people would start smiling at you because they know and they feel oh, she's she knows Filipino. So anything, welcome po. Um, thank, you, thank you po. Thank you, po. Good morning po. Anything, just add po. Anything and you're in. There you go. <laughs> so po, just say po to anything and they'll smile and it's actually, it's works. It's been fun like being with someone that can have the local dialect today too. That's been awesome. Oh man, and now we're, now we're parting ways. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just took a day for $29.90 and that included everything. So it would have been that much per person had we gone with a guided tour. It was fun and this way we got to meet Annalisa and she was yes. kind of our Tour guide. Tour guide. Somebody asked her in the GP, is like, are you their tour guide? She's like, no, we just have to meet up and we're on the same itinerary, basically. So. Yeah, so it worked out really great. I'm headed out, headed on. so much and there is my snack bag right by the door where I left it currently 820 and all we had today was two eggs each um, half a container of peanuts a coffee and some, um, those tortilla some of those like dry tortilla chips and some really disgusting like pure cocoa and that's it so yeah time to make some rice that rice with tuna was delicious I'm going to bed Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And we'll see you in the next video. And good night. Uh, for, oh, I was walking the wrong way, Peter. Peter had to guide me. When I talk, I just kind of start walking, and then he's like, oh, you're going the wrong way. All right, so Peter handed me the umbrella. And I'm, with my other hand, I have the camera. And it's actually rather slick and slippery on this bridge now. So now I don't have a hand for the railing. <laughs> so here is the Lubbock, Lubbock River. Is that how you say it? Lubbock? 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 Lubbock. 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 Lubbock.